Hi there, thank you for joining me today. Welcome to the today's session and we'll be discussing a wonderful story of a great lady who was a well-known artist at the time of her death at the age of 101. This is a story which we're going to discuss. At the end of this story, I want you to understand and ask yourself, what is your age and what are your excuses to do better in what you wanted to do in your life? So, there was a lady called she was known as Grandma Moses. Her name was Anna Mary Robertson. She was born in 1860 and died at 1961. At the time of her death, she made about 3,600 wonderful paintings. And it all started when she was the age of 70. Now, at the age of 70, ladies and gentlemen, she had... 10 kids and she was having or suffering with arthritis so she was basically doing an embroidery work and since the arthritis is you know giving her a lot of troubles she couldn't be able to focus on embroidery and interestingly she met a um, on one of the Christmas day when she was at the age of 17 she made a nice art a small art to give as a gift to a postman a local postman which who comes around her block and he was very impressed by her art and then word of mouth spread across and she started loving what she was doing it and eventually she used to make the paintings and give it to the people just for free you know as a gesture of goodwill she used to give you know to the friends and families so people started looking at it and appreciating um, the creativity what she had you know she had all the imagination of what she had gone through in her past life about 70 years and she used to uh, draw wonderful drawings which I'll be putting some of the pictures or links you know um, some of the things that which you can see and she used to sell these you know the small paintings for two three dollars in a local drugstore and after eight years one gentleman passing by who is from also um, the art collector and then he really liked it the paintings and then he purchased everything what was under the drugstore uh, also he went and met grandma Moses and he took all the collection and he introduced her to the world uh, with her all the paintings and then from there she began doing her wonderful work even more and um, spread her entire wonderful um, artworks before she died at the age of 101 with about 3600 and an hour overall paintings which she did see age is never a bar you know if you look at it you know she had 10 kids at the age of 70 and obviously she was a great grandma as well now how many of us on 70s how many of are in 30s how many of we are in 40s or 50s so there is no need of you know thinking this is the end i'm sure there must be some creativity within you that you need to explore you need to find out and if she, she if say for example she at the age of 70 she didn't you know try that out or uh, you know she was just doing it for passionately and probably you know whatever the artwork she brought to the world about three thousand plus good artwork which she brought to the world would have been in vain so maybe there is a bigger artist in all of us but then age is no bar it is one of the best best examples we can have age is no bar on what you want to achieve in your life so if someone has two kids imagine now whatever that you have Think about your parents, father, the families, or yourself if you have fortunate to have kids. If you have two, three kids, it's so difficult to, you know, bring them to upkeep, you know, giving them a good education, you know, giving all the basics necessities, etc. Think about it. She has over 10 kids, and I'm sure she must have gone through certain easily. It's not an easy thing to, you know, to look after 10 kids. And at the age of 70, she gave a life to an artist who was within herself for a long time. So, ask yourself, what excuses do you have? And which of the age you are in? And 
there is no retirement as such you know people think oh yeah 40 50 oh i'm tired i'm these and that and that this is all the excuses we tell to ourselves all the time most of the time there are so many stories also we know that like kentucky fried chicken those who started in the late years and eventually became a great success you don't need to be and you can be as well you know one of the greatest artists in the world itself or you can be a greater artist in your community or whatever you do whatever the best thing that you can bring it to the life but there is one interesting thing you should always see those who started their careers or passions and at later ages they pretty much stayed in that course for a long time and even if you look at it kfc colonel sanders died about 90 plus years and then if you look at grandma moses died at the age of 101 so i think that also gives you a purpose in what you want to do it's not that i mean all of us are going to die one day that's not the case but what are you leaving behind what what is a purpose and what is a creativity within you which you're going to leave when you leave is something that we need to ask and age is not at all a bar no way you know no way that we can say okay i'm 40 or what can i do i'm already half done see that's already you're pulling yourself down or you can say hey you know what i have a lot of years ahead this is the experience i had what can i do what can i bring more her first painting didn't go to a new york museum but since she kept at it since this was a passion and keep doing what she loved doing it and eventually things got attracted to her and then people at some point of time in their lives and because actually she got barely recognized after eight years imagine after she is doing a couple of paintings and said oh this is not for me i'm not giving because she kept at it because that's what she loved doing it and that is something that we always should focus and finding what we love doing and when you know or when you find out what you love doing it you don't probably care what others are doing it or what, what kind of income or resources that is going to generate you because that's your passion this is like that's like you're taking a breath you know that's what you want to do continue to doing it and eventually it is going to catch a momentum if you keep at it so i hope that inspires you to do better in what you do and irrespective of whichever the age you are in and do better and um, when grandma moses can start her artistic career at the age of 70 and then kept next to 31 years in the same field and gave so much of life to her paintings and to the world and i'm sure that you need to ask yourself what is your age and what are your excuses and what can you bring to the world stay well stay blessed thank you for watching and see you tomorrow thanks